Hi, this is Debbie from Organic Oasis. This is my husband, Tim, Tomato Tim, we call him. He's known around town as Tomato Tim. And today, he's gonna be talking about his cherry tomatoes. And I'll be asking him some questions about, about his gigantic to cherry tomato harvest. So Tomato Tim, what makes growing cherry tomatoes so unique compared to growing other types of tomatoes? So generally there are two types of tomatoes. There are indeterminate and determinate tomatoes. Indeterminate tomatoes um, grow and need to be ideally pruned very heavily all the time. And indeterminate tomatoes normally are smaller and smaller bush varieties. The thing that's interesting about a cherry tomato is not only do you get hundreds of fruit every day, you can get hundreds of fruit every day off of each plant. We have four of our plants here, but they are somewhat halfway between an indeterminate um, type variety because they, um, they, they grow big, they aren't compact. However, they don't require much in the way of, tr of, of trimming like indeterminate tomatoes do. And so, and, but they're big and continue to grow and grow and grow, unlike um, the determinate tomatoes. That's amazing. I can just pick these right off the vine and, and eat them. Let me try one. Absolutely. Oh my gosh. They're I'm delicious. Just trying one of the sun gold here. Mmm. Yum. Tell the viewers why these cherry tomatoes why should they grow the cher cherry tomatoes what makes them special what makes them like one of your favorites well one of the things is the if you tend to them properly the, the amount of production that you get is absolutely tremendous we're currently getting a couple hundred tomatoes about every single day come out here and we're not even sure we can keep up with them so we're in the you're in the kitchen um, i'm helping out um, process these in various ways to to keep them um, fresh so we can enjoy them later on in the year. But it's that's something that's just a little bit unusual about the, the cherry tomatoes. The second thing is they actually can be eaten with no preparation. You just pull them right off the plant mm, and you can eat them yeah. and they're delicious. But sometimes that means that they never made their way into the kitchen when we leave them there. <laughs> they are so delicious and such a great snack. Are they challenging to grow? They're not very challenging to grow. Um, they're actually a little easier than the indeterminate slicers because you don't have to prune them as much. They are, um, they, they pretty much just need to be kept caged and trellised. And that's a little bit of a challenge, but um, uh, we've got a homemade wired um, cage here that we're using that seems to work pretty well. Yeah, they really grow tall. I can see that. They're, they're huge. It looks like a tomato jungle. It, that's my own tomato cherry cherry tomato jungle. So, what is your what are some tips you can offer to our viewers about how they could grow cherry tomatoes successfully like this? Um, the key to growing um, a cherry tomatoes really really healthy, for that matter, any tomatoes really really healthy healthy is about the stem. And if you look down there, the stem is probably about a half an inch round. And so what you want to do is promote, do things that, to promote stem growth. The way you do that is you um, go ahead and um, carefully tend to your seedlings. And I have some video, other videos associated with that. Uh -huh. And then the most important thing is to use compost, mix compost in with your, uh, with your soil, and then also put a one to two inch compost um, top, top treatment on top of them and then um, straw, shredded straw to, as a, as a, um, not a compost, as but a mulch? as a mulch, thank you. <laughs> so maybe I, what I can do later for our viewers is to zoom in on this and show um, what you're talking about as far as the stem and the straw on top. So there must be a secret that you probably don't normally share with people, but is there any way you can let our, our viewers into your, your your one big secret of why how you can grow this tomato cherry tomato jungle um compost is one of them and then the second one which i talk less about and i'll do a video on it is picking varietals carefully and i think that that's something that very successful um, gardeners if they have super healthy plants 
Um, if they fertilize them regularly, um, then th they'll get a lot of production. That's amazing. So basically, what I heard you say is that if a person wanted to grow cherry tomatoes like this and be successful, they would shop for certain varietals. They would then um, make sure when they planted them that they do a special planting, which you're going to do a video and on. And plant them deeply. And plant all. them deeply. And then you would use lots of compost, put a two-inch dressing of compost on top, a mulch of straw. And then set them up on drip irrigation like you did. My wife uh -huh. does my drip irrigation for me. And so you set them up on drip irrigation and get them watering regularly on a regular basis. That's really um, a key as well. That's fantastic. So, um, viewers, let's thank Tomato Tim for all of his knowledge and sharing how he grew the t uh, cherry tomatoes this year and how you can do it too. If you have any tips on, on growing cherry tomatoes or any experience, please share in the comments below. And also, we're going to have more videos by Tomato Tim. Please subscribe and follow along. And I'm sure you're going to find lots of his videos very informative. And they will help you in your growing tomatoes in your future. Thank you for watching.